Hey folks, on this video we're going all in. We're venturing into some water that's pretty fickle because about the only time the fish bite up here is when they're releasing water from the dam. So we're taking a big gamble on whether or not the water is going to be flowing today. Alright, let's see what we got here. Start warming up. I got some parts. Some are buried in this cooler. There they are. Big old bag of crappie, or crappy, as we say in North Carolina. The rest of this stuff here. The rest of that stuff are some parts of the crappy, crappie that uh, a buddy of mine gave me. He's a uh, big crappy guy, and uh, I'm gonna use those for uh, chum. Uh, it's a bunch of carcasses and stuff. It's a bunch of oily fishy stuff. So we're gonna take that and when I make my shark fishing chum later this year I'm gonna use that just as some biomass to put in there to help spread some of the scent from the menhaden oil and stuff. So anyway getting the boat loaded up. Uh, we'll be heading out here shortly. Alright, gonna go in here and get my cup of coffee and I'll be ready to hit the road. Have to be very quiet, everybody's still in bed. Boat's loaded up and ready to go. Alright guys, first stop this morning, get some gas. Second stop, buy them store. Liver mush and egg sandwich. My favorite part of any trip is filling up with gas. The cost of freedom. Alright, last stop made. Good old Byram's. Liver mush and egg on a bun. On the bun is the most important part. It's warm, soft, and moist. Very similar to me on a hot spring morning. I don't know why I just made that up. Kind of creepy. All right, off to a new boat. <laughs> All right, off to a new boat ramp to put in. Now I'm putting in some place that I don't normally put in. It's a ramp they've rebuilt in the lake. Try it out, try some river fishing. It's a gamble, we're gambling. We're gambling, there'll be some water moving. So, see what happens. Hot, very hot, but they're so good. Checking out our new little boat ramp they've redone here. This little crap hole was here for years and years and they finally have come in and redone it. Put in some new docks. Or actually a dock instead of that floating piece of wood. So, pretty cool. Yeah, this boat ramp here used to be a great place to put in up in the river, but it was a crap hole of a ramp. And then the dock got washed away in a flood and they shut it down. And finally reopened it. And it is nice now. They've even put in some uh, new concrete slabs for the ramp, which is really nice. The old one was kind of one side you'd fall off into a hole, and yeah, this place is nice now. Got some places to tie up over here. And look at that. Gorgeous. Thank God for another wake up call. We're gonna make a run way up the river. I hadn't been up here in a long time, so uh, able to put up here just in the ramp, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. 
right, some of y'all crappie fishermen are going to freak out when you see these fish we're using for bait. So here's kind of the scenario. I'm anchored up in the river section, very narrow river section. I'm a, near the dam. And uh, there's no water moving. So I'm putting out some rigs, scattering them around. I'm using drift rigs just to float the bait up off the bottom. I say drift rigs, I mean a Santee style drift rig. Got a uh, snap swivel with a weight leader, a cork. The cork floats the, weight, or the uh, bait up off the bottom. The reason I do this is just I think it gets a little better sent around. Put those out and uh, kind of play it by ear and see what happens here with the water coming on. Boom, got one hooked up off the bank. One of the rods on the bank just went over. Lake Wally Blue, a big male. Bite that hand. There you go. There you go. Good fish. I'll give you a little lay of the land here. I've got uh, eight rods out. I've got six on the bottom and six underneath bobbers, about seven feet down, suspended. Since there's no river current uh, going on, these fish can be anywhere in the water column swimming around, so it's entirely likely you could have one sitting up somewhere suspended. So I put two baits out underneath the cork. It's about seven feet down. Uh, I'm on about a 20-foot hole here, so somewhere there in the middle of the water column, we'll see, see if anything hits it. Give it a while. We know there's fish here. It's just a matter of what time are they going to eat. Got another one that took the money and ran. Small fish. I'm tracking some length and weight measurements for the state. So, I've been measuring a bunch of these fish. Getting a good weight on them. 513. Get a length. Five thirteen, twenty three inches long. All right, let me give you a little update on what's going on. Uh, I fished that same area up there for I don't know another forty five minutes. Never got bit. I went on up to the dam and played around a little bit, just seeing if there were some perch or anything up there, and I uh, never caught any. So come back down, and I'm around some uh, train trestles. There's all kinds of debris in here. There's back in the great flood of 1916, there was a trestle in here that got washed away and a road bridge that got washed away. There's a box car in here somewhere. There's just all kinds of stuff. Everything coming down the river gets caught in it. So anyway, I'm anchored up in here. Just gonna see what's happening. They still haven't turned any water on. So uh, yeah, I think the bite's gonna be tough here in the middle of the day, but you can always pick one off. Uh, you put the right bait out there. Fish gets a whiff of it and you can get one. So we'll keep them in the water, keep messing around up here, keep swinging for the fences to try to get them on a monster. I was kind of hoping that would spark a uh, train bite, kind of like you get a forage bite on some of the big rivers, but right they move. All right, guys, the gamble on water moving and us catching a monster did not work out. Went all in and lost. That's fishing. Hey, if you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button so you can stay updated on all the new videos we have coming out. Hope to get to see you on the water.